Let's discuss some of the comments on the previous video about help desk job. So we have this comment or rather a question from Folk Ray DZ or whatever. So his comment or his question is, so CCNA to get an IT technician or help desk role? And we also have another comment from Warrior of Peace. He says, good luck finding a network position or system admin position without any prior experience or relevant certifications. The best you can do is start with simple help desk position. All right, so this is like a debate whether you should start as a help desk position or not. But if you're gonna ask me, I will say this with authority. Help desk position is for losers. You should avoid this position because if you start your career as a help desk, worst case is it will destroy your career, it will destroy your future. Or if you go for help desk as your first career, you can go for the right strategy and promote yourself as a system administrator or a network engineer. This will only delay your career, but either way, it's still bad for you. So let's begin. Again, help desk is for losers. And there are many reasons why you should not go for a help desk job. Let's start first with, you have two options in life. The first option is go for a help desk career. The second option is go for a better position. And you can always say any excuses you want. Take note, there are many people who skipped help desk. Here's the best example. No programmers, no application developers wannabe started as help desk. You don't see anyone who go for help desk position while they create a game project or any software applications on the side. They will rather code, work their asses Monday, Tuesday, up to Friday, even with the weekend sometimes, eight hours or even more per day. That's better than assisting these annoying users asking for your assistance. Yeah, if you're a programmer or wannabe programmer, no way you want to fix printers. No way you want to fix PCs as part of your job. Just no way. What do you think? It's not just programmers, you know? There are more and more people starts their career in cloud and DevOps. There are newbies, or I would say many newbies, that watch videos of Tech World with Nana or Moonshot Manambet, where they learn containers such as Docker and Kubernetes, CICD, all DevOps related stuff. Some people start their career in learning AWS or Microsoft Azure Cloud. Do you think? They will even apply for a help desk job. No way. All right, next. I don't know how gender biased this would sound. I have to be very careful because I don't want to be canceled. I'll be honest anyway, and I will make this as neutral as possible. There are less females starting their career as help desk or IT technician, I can say it's quite rare because women, they don't want to run some cables. Women, they don't want to carry heavy equipments such as servers, network devices, etc. Women, they don't want to fix printers and desktop computers. And women, they don't have much patience dealing with annoying end users. I see many women start their career as a network engineer, software developer, cloud engineer, or even project assistant. Now, let's talk about IT certifications. If you start your certification journey with CompTIA A+, and CompTIA Network+, 100%, I guarantee you, you're starting your career as help desk. So skip those certifications. How about CCNA or Cisco Certified Network Associate? Unfortunately, CCNA is a bit, or should I say most of the time, is tied with help desk job. 
Yeah, we know CCNA is supposed to be for network engineers or junior network engineers or network associates. But many job postings for help this position require CCNA, believe it or not. So if you want to be a real network engineer and skip the help desk job, take CCNP or Cisco Certified Network Professional or watch this videos. Now, a good complement for CCNA is F5CA in Big IP or F5 Certified Administrator in Big IP. If the company knows you are familiar with F5 Big IP and they know that you are knowledgeable with application load balancing, there's a good chance that the company will not assign you as help desk. They will assign you towards to more servers, network devices, applications, close to data center. How about cybersecurity? Can I skip help desk and become a cybersecurity professional? Well, I see quite a few number of junior security analyst position out there in some job posting. So the answer is yes, you can skip help desk and become a cybersecurity professional. Just get relevant IT certifications. And by the way, it's not only for cybersecurity. When I say get relevant IT certifications, it can be any positions. It can be a uh, Linux or system administrator, network engineer, cloud engineer, or yeah, cybersecurity. When I say relevant IT certifications, these certifications must be related to the job role. And when I say certifications, don't limit your certifications to just two. Target at least four or five valuable IT certifications. And it's not just technical skills. It's not just certifications. During the interview process, be likable. Overall, do well in the interview. And uh, you have to show them something that you already created, like a project. It can be a lab environment. It can be blog or articles that you created. Or if you are rooting for a software developer or application developer career or role, show them the application that you created in the past. That would be your best bet. Now, I also want to highlight this for network and security engineers. The best option for you to start your career is to work with VAR. VAR stands for Value Added Reseller. For some countries, uh, they call this SI or System Integrators. So these companies, they give more opportunities for fresh graduates and for those new to IT industries. 